In a letter from the city, the owner of this billboard has been asked to remove his sign since a bylaw prevents third-party signage or billboards within the city boundaries, regardless of whether or not it's erected on private or public property. At this time, that sign is not considered legal, and the owner of the sign will be asked to remove what's left of it. Part of that sign was destroyed with the high winds we have here. In fact, there was a second billboard here, but two weeks ago, despite it being heavily secured to a metal trailer, it blew away during 90 kilometer an hour winds. According to the city, both billboard owners received letters asking for the removal of their signs. Now with only one remaining, the city will contact him in the coming weeks, and if he still doesn't remove it, this city will have it removed. Despite this particular issue, the city says it isn't completely against the idea of billboards. It's actually considering regulating them and other forms of signage in the future. There may be a good need for them, that businesses are having problems, that they're doing what they can to get the word out about their establishments and the kind of services they offer or the kind of inventories they carry. And it would be appropriate, I believe, to find a balance so that signage is not offensive, but signage is allowed, and those who wish to participate in that have an op opportunity. But at this point, the council believes if any of that should happen, it should be in a regulated way. Masalem says considering the autumn winds we've been experiencing in Prince Rupert, he wants this billboard removed immediately as it poses a threat to public safety. The speed limit for this stretch of highway is 80 kilometers an hour and with infamous coastal winds of up to 100 kilometers an hour, a board flying into oncoming traffic could be fatal. The other billboard that was here was found in the ditch on the other side of the road after a wind gust picked it up and threw it across the highway. For CFDK TV News in Prince Rupert, I'm Sahar Nassim Deust.